what to do when this happens what to do i just don't know what should i do <laughs> when this happens what should i do i just don't know <laughs> so I, I didn't really know what tone to make this video in um uh, my mind is all over the place i'm i'm uh Man, I don't even know. I've got to talk to figure this out. Do you ever have that? Where you just you just need to talk your way through something, whatever it is. You're not talking your way out of something. You're talking your way through something, so that you understand it better. It's almost like if I were to present it to someone, it'll make more sense to me, and I'll know the answer immediately. Imagine that time when you're trying to decide between different options, between different choices, actions, etc. You decide, say there's two choices, you decide to flip a coin. As you start to flip the coin, you realize, like, oh, heads for choice A, tails for choice B. You realize what you want, heads or tails, as you start to flip the coin. Kind of like that. I have no idea what to do. I have no idea what to do. So moved here to Vegas to sell solar panels. Realize I'm part of a managerial training program, which is awesome. The last month and a half, well, since, since like July 8th when I started, has been amazing. It's been so good. I'm learning so much. Every day is a struggle. Every day is a, a challenge of growth. I can't get enough of that. I love what I'm doing. I'm learning how to run an office. I'm learning how to communicate with people. I'm learning door-to-door -door sales right now. I'm learning sales in general. Sales is nothing like I thought it would be when I was when I was learning uh, like theory of closing and whatnot. It's, it's so different it, actually in person and now you go back over any kind of theoretical or learning material and it, it makes a lot more sense. You pick up different things from it. It's, it's a lot like science and then you apply it into engineering and some things don't really work here that did over here and it, it, yeah I, same idea but anyway this job is wonderful i love it i look forward to going in every day some days i'm dragging my feet a little because i'm nervous because it's so demanding growth wise there's so much you have to wrap your head around and and change about yourself. Like you can't be negative in this kind of position as a as a manager or in sales. There's no negativity allowed. It's a total numbers game, and you can't take anything personally from a customer ever. Then we won't go there right now. But you also can't be negative on the inside. Imagine someone coming to you in any sales position, whether you like salespeople or not. And if they're negative at all, you immediately just kind of want to push them off a cliff. Like there's no, you have to, you have to be what I'm actually good at, is being positive. But I, I tend to be kind of negative in thinking patterns when I'm, when I'm self-assessing. The people in my life tell me I'm very hard on myself. And so learning how to carve that out to change those patterns to think more positively to acknowledge my successes and to grow as a person and not only as I'm growing uh, as I'm growing to acknowledge that growth Woo. and so then imagine all that but every day you're doing some form of growth every day you're working on like I'm not smiling enough I need to talk slower I use lots of filler words like um when you uh, are thinking like with the, uh, you work through each of these every day. Oh, I, uh, I stand strangely, which sounds really funny, but if you if you ever do door to door stuff and you stand like Superman, just squared up in front of the door, what are you doing? <laughs> It looks like you're there to like, arrest them or something. What do you? No, stand like offset. When you when you're squared up with someone, it's kind of threatening, right? Like shoulders squared up. Like that's it's weird. Stand a little offset. Don't don't stand with your feet sideways. You're not a friggin' Batman. What are you doing? All of those examples aside, I come here to work in the solar industry. I learn it's much more than that. I'm learning how to run an office. 
awesome. Love it. That office then makes not enough sales here in the state after the state incentive for solar is cut. So the office is going to close down. They're going to pivot in some ways. They're thinking of going this direction with this product, that direction with another product. They're going to focus on these offices in other states. They're maybe we'll open up this Vegas shop a little later when incentives come back, but it is a very hard sell right now to go solar. Does it add value to the house? Of course. Does There's a lot of reasons to go into it, but people aren't seeing the monetary savings in Nevada that they want to see. So the sale is uphill the whole time. I've been learning how to do sales in a market that's uphill. That's nice. That's that's good. That's like trial by fire. I'm very grateful for that. Again, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. This has been amazing. But now, now I've got some choices to make. I just signed a lease on the apartment for a while. I could commute to Arizona, which is close by, join their office there, work there between four and seven days a week. But my wife works here in Nevada. So I, being gone for minimal amounts of time would be preferable. I don't like long distance. We started long distance. It's only four days out of the week, two seven days. I mean, I, why would I stay there the whole seven days? You know, Six days out of the week, you only have one day here. The four and three schedule would be preferable. But then again, you're not getting Saturdays in your door-to-door -door market. Saturdays are good days for sales. But that Arizona market has a lot of energy in it. There's a, a decent chunk more employees than we had. We were at like 10, 11, 8 was about the average here in Vegas. And I think they're at double or more than that there. Now they're losing four people to go to another offshoot office that they're making. And the office is still bigger than what we had. So it's, it's a big office. It's full of energy. It's, it's a very good opportunity. I like what I'm doing. I work with people I really respect, who I learned a lot from, who are very growth mindset. Hey, they, they're wonderful. They keep me coming to the office every day. So work culture is great. The job is fun. It is fun. It is fun. Even on days where you don't make a sale, even on days where you don't set an appointment, which sounds like a failure via business reasons, of course. And you, you'd be right, bottom line. But every one of those days, you pull something from it. Here, here, you, every failure is a learning opportunity. And that's exactly why the culture is so amazing because everyone you work with sees it that way. Like, hey man, yeah, you had a tough day at the field, big deal. And tomorrow's gonna be a better day. And it's a fact, even if tomorrow you came in and you still got nothing, you still provided zero service to people, you still learned a lot interacting with those people. It's always a win. That's a plus. So I clearly like what I'm doing. It is a great company to work for. They're in this growth phase right now where they're expanding to different offices. This office clearly just collapsed. But that's not quite the right way to say it. It didn't implode. It's not going away. There's plans to come back. There's other products they're, they're pivoting towards. Just this office is on hold. Can I say that? So, I like the company. It's in a phase that's very exciting because this kind of growth phase, you get in when it's young. You're with them, not from the beginning, but from the beginning. That's nice. I like that. Help things grow. Other options are leaving the company. And I talked with management recently. They said, I'll always have a job here. They, they love my work ethic. They like working with me. They love the progress I've made in just these short weeks. I really like working with them. But I, I have signed the lease here. The wife does have a career here. It's actually a really good opportunity for her. She's teaching at university here. It's, it's great for her. Leasing 
and money stuff is not a problem. It's not a problem. If I go over there to Arizona, even four days out of the week, and I do well, they'll help me close the lease here or get on my feet over there. They're super accommodating in that way. Also, I miss my goatee. I miss doing this. Like playing with the hair. I like being clean shaven though. I feel like I look more professional. Clean shaven. Regardless. Um, so for now you get you get the finger on the chin trying to make a dimple. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't necessarily want to look for another job. I really like working here. I don't necessarily want to drive eight hours a week for there, for back. It's kind of a small price to pay to stay with this company, to see their main office, to work in their main office, to work in a market where they practically hand solar out. Arizona is exploding right now. It's amazing. It's such an easy sale. It's, it's kind of an oxymoron, but it would be simpler to make those sales. And I'm told by those employees that I've worked with, those, those people here in the office, that I would fit in well there because of my work ethic. That I would, I would do well in that kind of like cooperative, competitive environment. Which I like. I like being very driven. I like being surrounded by driven people. The Arizona option is a very good option. But it is weighed against long time. I'm sitting outside my apartment building, by the way. So, like, there's the apartments are up there. So, when I point up there, long distance for a few days a week, even in just a few days a week, it's not, it's not what we signed up for coming here to Vegas. It's not what we signed up for getting married and picking out a place to move to, to pursue one, two careers. That's going to be a tough sell. I haven't talked to her about it yet. I told her some details. Like, she knows the conversation we're about to have. I'm not just, like, sideswiping her, like, Honey, pack your bags! The office is collapsed and we're out! Like, no, 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 no. But it's going to be hard to convince a person that we could or should do a long-distance thing so that I can go over to Arizona and, and continue this line of job. Or with this specific company. She'd be supportive, though, if it's something I really want. She's she's the most amazing person in the world. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. And it's win-win, too. If I stay here and I don't go with the company to Arizona, I get the wife, I'll find more work. I'm a good worker. That's not a problem. Not a problem. Especially with a bachelor's degree in physics, I got this. I mean, I can teach, if anything. I can... The world is my oyster. I'm not worried. So it's... It's win-win, either way. What, I, what I'm trying to figure out is... The opportunity of working with this specific company. Because that good culture, holy cow. It's so hard to find. In, it's just to be surrounded by coworkers who are so driven and ambitious, go getters, and they're so generous. They're so caring. They're they're the positive people I've been looking for. Like, I found my tribe. Hey, I really want to be around people like them. But what am I willing to sacrifice to do that? And if, if I go to the office for a week or two, you know, I like travel over, see what it's like, see if it's a fit for me, see if I can make it work. In that time, will I get the results that make it worth it? What if you just have two bad weeks over there? And then, and then you're like, well, oh, it's not worth it. And you throw it away and you're, like, you're always gonna think about that. Like, what if it's just another two weeks? Some, but then the opposite, what if it's really awesome? And then I don't take that opportunity and I miss out on something amazing. So FOMO? Fear of missing out? Is that what's stopping me here? From from leaving the company? Really? Eh, kinda. Kinda. I mean, I don't 
not want to have contact with these people. Like I said, you find a tribe of people you like hanging out with, you want to keep hanging out with them. So socially, it's good. Culturally, the company's great. Lucratively, let's, I mean, let's look financially. Financially. Right now, you've seen the beginning of Wolf of Wall Street. It's like, I, I geared up to take my Series 6 and over those six months, making shit cash until I became a broker. So for those six months, it won't take me six months to be a closer to build a team. But even if it does, that's not the point. Six months of making shit cash. That's where I'm at right now. I'm building myself those skills. I'm building those up. I'm learning how to build a team within this work environment. I'm not making money right now that I want to make. The money. It's fine. This is an investment in myself. It's not like you ever you ever start a new job and it takes X amount of months to learn everything in it. It's the same idea with this. I didn't come here and I'm, I'm instantly just printing millions. Obviously, I've never done sales. I've never done door to door. I've never been a manager. It's just only half true. I mean, like a, a tutoring lead is a little different. We'll get into that one day. But all growth and what I sacrificed by leaving the company is a very quick growth path very quick into management kind of position which is nice getting another job you immediately assuming it's not purely commission based which is what this is and I would highly recommend that to anyone it's, it's amazing by the way whatever shit cash I've made has, I, I earned every penny of that. I've put in so much effort for those dollars, and I know that it won't always be shit cash, <laughs> because every day I get better. Does that make sense? Now, I'm not ungrateful in any way. I'm not doubting myself in any way. I'm, if anything, I'm just like, why is this office closing? It's, I'm just like 20 seconds away from those those high ticket sales. Just, just, just like I'm right there. I just want to go out right now and talk to some more people. Hey, welcome. My name's Luke. How, what can I help you with today? Like, What information can I get you? I, it's fun. It's fun. I really like this. I know this video is really rambly, but I mean, I'll, I'll label it blog. Okay? <laughs> or vlog. Like, if you listen, you're, you're here for the long haul and I appreciate you. It's just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the right decision is. I I was going to say hate. That's a little strong. I dislike coming to my wife and asking her to make a decision. I would rather have something I want and present it to her to see if it works for her so we can make a decision together. I don't want to come home and be like, what should I do? That's, like, it's my life. What do you, what do I expect her to do? Like, wipe my nose for me? Like, she's a support. And I support her, but she shouldn't be asked to live my life for me and make this decision. That's, whoa, whoa. I'm out of line asking something like that, in my opinion. I... So I'm like, let's talk it out. Let's figure out what I want. What do you want? I feel like Goodwill Hunting. I'm not calling myself a genius and say I relate to that that feeling. It's like, you can't even answer that simple question. What do you want? But that's, that question isn't even fair, though, because you're measuring outcomes. You're measuring out, you're trying to predict the future by, by asking that question, what do you want? Especially in this career type of setting. So, let's talk about that. In the future, if I go to Arizona, and then... So that if doesn't count because it's an option, right? So if I get really good at this, I can build a team, I can be a manager easily within a year. Easily. As long as building the team process works. I could be closing a deal a week plus by the end of the year. That's, a, that's an incredibly liberal estimate. Most people in this company are doing that cake. Especially over there, oh my gosh, it is just exploding. So, if I get good at this, there's definitely a future in it. And I, I, 
I like what I'm doing. So I, how many people can say that? I like the people I work with. I like the company. Like, it's like a no-brainer. If I don't go over, I like how it's just, just one thing. Just that's my pinky, you two. It's a great pinky. <laughs> so. Thank you for bearing with us this this whole video. Thank you for sitting with me this whole time, okay? I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, hit that like button. Smash subscribe. <laughs> I don't really plug that in my videos. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You like the content, you'll like it. So, if I don't go, probably end up working some kind of commission salary mixed job where the commissions are between ten and a thousand dollars. They're probably not high ticket. A high ticket sale is something that's a thousand or higher. I enjoy the high ticket market. As far as my limited experience, I know I'm scratching my neck like, I'm an expert. Don't catch my lie. As far as my limited experience in this kind of field, I like it because you put in X effort every day and eventually you get this fairly large paycheck all based on the effort you put in. I love commission. Oh my God. This is amazing how fun it is. It's amazing how enjoyable every day is. It's amazing how you feel so independent of course there's worry. Of course there's like, <sighs> gotta keep up sales so that I can pay rent, so I afford insurance, so I, yeah, whatever, whatever. You also make one sale and you get X thousand dollars, so. I don't know, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty exciting. Uh, to me, I grew up poor, poor as dirt, okay? So that idea, Amazing. Then you put it into practice, you're like, holy sh Nikes, I can actually do this. Woo! It's amazing. It's amazing. I love commission. Um, but the stuff here would probably be a commission salary mix, which means you're getting paid closer to minimum wage, if not like $12 an hour or whatever. And then your commissions, depending on what it is, say it's jewelry, right? Maybe it's $100, maybe it's $500. I doubt it's high ticket. Okay, so is the money less? I mean, really, let's just work up a spreadsheet here. Damn, YouTube, you are full of patience with me, and I love you, I miss you. I wanna be making more videos. I'm trying to get this discipline thing down. We wake up at the same time every day. You do the, this period of time is for this, this period of time is for this, this thing over here, this is when you do this. Now you go to work, and then at night, you do one, two, three, go to bed, wake up again. It's very, predictable, it's very planned out, but it's very productive. I feel best when I'm productive. I like getting shit done. So, do a little quick math. If you were able to work 40 hours a week, rounding down for simple maths, $10 an hour, it's $400 a week. Say you're able to make a sale a week at $100 commission. So that's $500 a week. That comes out to $2,000 a month. Not sustainable. We have student loans. We've got a car payment. We have rent. $2,000 a month isn't going to pay for our life, get us on insurance, we can get pregnant, have some kids. Not worth it. See how that, how you just do that math? It's just really quick. Really quick, as I grab the paper and I'm writing stuff down and we're at minute 24 of a video. Ha! So even money-wise, it's still better to go over there. On the gamble that I get good at this in the next month of time. Of course I will. I'm Luke Campbell. I get good at everything I try. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the time frame. Like, I'm more merciful with myself now. Like, it's okay to be a slower learner. I don't know if I'm a slow learner, but sometimes it feels like that when you're going with new material. But it, 
there's only so much money in my bank account. There's only so much income coming to me. So if I don't figure this out in time, then we don't make a rent check, then we're homeless. <laughs> that's not the situation we're in, but that's the way my brain works. Does that make sense? So I need to figure this out. Not only the sales thing, but if I am going to stay with the sales uh, and the specific company I'm with, or if I'm going to transfer over somewhere, and if I can find something somewhere with that transfer that supports my lifestyle, because clearly getting paid ten dollars an hour isn't going to do it. Thank you for listening. I think I have a better idea of what I want, and we will keep you updated, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. I'll see you soon.